Good morning, YouTube. Just a quick update here. This is my Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. This is running Kodi, the Open Elec version. The Kodi version is 14.2 down here. Uh, just downloaded and updated this morning. And let's see, let me look over here. Yeah, so let's see, we can look. I've, I've got my TV channels loaded here. I've got the, down the side here, you've got the channel number, and then you've got the uh, call letters of the station, and then you've just got the generic icons over there. But one thing I noticed in the, this latest update of Kodi for the Raspberry Pi 2 is if we go over here to Settings, Live TV, and go to the menu slash on-screen display or TV settings. My remote wasn't uh, cooperating there. So what I want to do is go to a folder that I have shared on one of my Windows PCs. So I go to the Windows network. You could also use any of the other sources here but I have them on a Windows machine right now. And I call the folder TV underscore logos underscore USA. And I'll, I'll show you how I created that in a separate video. So all I have to do is select that folder. And that folder has channel icon. So now what I need to do is scan that folder for the missing icons. And in this case, all of them are missing. So you can watch up here. All channels were scanned. Now let's go back and look at the live TV directory and see if there's any difference. And there you go. We've got quite a few of the channels have icons now. I, I don't have them all, but uh, quite a few of them do there. Here's our local CBS channel, and if I go to the program guide, channel logos are, are inserted between the channel number and the channel call letters or name. So here's one of the channels. This is just a local news channel here. And so we'll tune that one in. So here's the channel, and you press the plus button here, which is the enter button. That brings up the program information menu. And you can see down here, you've got the channel logo. Now this logo is a transparent logo and the call letters there that are K-R-O-N unfortunately are black so it's black on black so you can see the shadow of of the N down there uh, when the background gets white so each station logo you look at you kind of have to look at the logo and figure out if a transparent version works or if you want an opaque version. So yeah, it looks like the channel logos have now been fixed. Uh, this is again in the Raspberry Pi 2 quad-core uh, binary for Kodi. Uh, in the initial version I checked, this wasn't working and it looks like it now is working. See if we still have the same user interface down here. So you've got the, this would, should also have channel logos. Here's your channel listing, the little pop-up version. So that's there. Don't know if it shows up in the, this EPG as well. No, that just, since that's only one channel, I guess they only list the call letters there. Looks like the channel logos are working, so I'll show you in a, a separate video how to create a channel icon folder and where to find the channel logos for your area. And so I'll, I'll put that in my 
cable cutting playlist along with my other Cody and Raspberry Pi videos. I'll put a link to the playlist here in the video. Uh, you can subscribe to the channel to uh, get updates on my other videos. And as always, thanks for watching.